What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today I'm bringing you guys a special review. It's none other than the truck, I would guess the newest truck on, or the newest truck from Spin Master. And it's none other than Spin Master's very first 4th of July special edition exclusive truck, Freebird. Alright, so here it is, one out of 5,000 Freebird, 4th of July, exclusive truck. This thing is really cool. So if you guys were really fortunate enough to order this off the Superstore, or even get it a little early, I ended up getting my trucks on July 3rd. I know a couple people did get them on July 2nd to July 3rd, somewhere in that time frame. But I was actually very lucky to get these very quick. I did order these on the day they did get released, which was June 29th. So the shipping on these was very, very fast. I think, what, five days, not even. Also, the packaging on these had become really, really good. So it's no longer them just throwing a bunch of trucks in a box and, you know, if they get dented or the cards get ruined, they don't care. So along with the world finals 21 trucks the packaging on these was actually really good and i do have that unboxing video which should be uploaded by now hopefully but yeah as you can tell right here free board free bird one of 1000 monster trucks and it's best best for uh it's exclusive i'm sorry for 4th of july and you can tell this truck is still in its wrapping i have yet to open any of these i was able to get six of them so with that being said, let me take this thing out of the packaging and actually take a good hard look at the card for the very first time. Alright, so here it is, the very first time I am seeing this card in person, this truck in person. Very, very cool. So you might be asking yourself, how come I'm opening these two instead of the other ones I have? And the reason being is... The one I'm opening over here on the left, I'm opening that one because the card is damaged. And as you guys do know, and you do follow me, I like to keep two of every trucks. One I open and one I keep in the package. And then this package really ain't that bad, but whatever, I'm just gonna save that one. The other four I have, I think two of them are going to a friend and I might give away one, something like that. We're still working it out and everything. But yeah, here it is, the Freebird monster truck. And one thing I gotta say, it is very nice to see a new truck because over here on the East Coast, I have been stuck with either seeing Mix 4 from last year in Targets and Walmarts or Mix 9 from this year. And that's all it's been for about two months for Spin Master trucks. And it is pretty insane. So I don't know if that's cause like Corona, or anything like that but just to see a brand new truck for the first time in a while is pretty cool but going on this detailing on the packaging really really cool like the one thing i really love about these special trucks and these exclusive trucks is the amount of detail that they put into the packaging itself so right here is the front of the packaging which i really really like it i think it looks really cool i like the detail in it i think this whole package everything put together with the truck itself is a really really cool look so obviously you got the monster truck right here with the bird painted like the american flag and then you have free bird down here here and it also does say fourth of july with two stars really cool detailing and then the thing that really makes this really cool and special just the American flag around the Monster Jam logo, that is pretty sick. I do like the limited edition right here. And of course the one up until 5,000, which is really cool. And just, I don't know, it's, it's just something really cool about the packaging. And I really, really love how they do this on the back of these. So every exclusive truck does have a unique packaging packaging or a unique card considering what holiday or whatever it's for. So that's pretty cool. And then of course you got right here the little saying. And then if you sign up for the Monster Jam Superstore, which this is what I did and I was able to get six of these trucks. Now I did pay, I think when it was all said and done like $82 or 83, something like that. A lot of you guys might be like, oh, that's a lot of money. Um, Yeah, but when you collect them and stuff like that, you know, it's your hobby, you do what you do. But 
I did end up getting, I think, 10 or $15 off with the Monster Jam code and this code as well. So I was able to use two codes, which helped out and, you know, saved something. But yeah, one minor detail I want to point out, though. Um, this was on the collecting group, and I haven't personally counted all the stars in the flag right there. But um, apparently there's more than 50 stars in that flag. And I haven't counted that out yet because I just opened these. If someone does count that, let me know because I would I would like to know if that's actually true. Someone said there's like 61 stars on that instead of 50. So that's kind of odd and kind of a big thing to misprint, <laughs> but that's okay. And of course you got right here, if you guys want to pause the video, the saying right there, really really cool i like this so i was not expecting to see a fourth of july monster truck i kind of never anticipated that i was kind of always going for like maybe halloween christmas something like that but one unique thing i can say is last year we got the special pirates curse of course we got the world finals trucks um it would be cool this year if they did it like different holidays so like last year we didn't see the 4th of July so maybe this year instead of seeing like maybe Halloween maybe see like Christmas like a Christmas special truck but then again Halloween's really cool and they can do a lot of things with Halloween so you know just a thought <laughs> however I would love to see a holiday truck for every single holiday this year that would be kind of cool but yeah, with that being said, I really want to know what this thing looks like. So let's crack this thing open and take a closer look at our little eagle friend here. Alright, so here it is, guys. The next exclusive, newest, I would guess the newest truck out of Spin Master. Really, really cool. I love this design. So one thing off the bat... A lot of guys, a lot of people question how come the flag is like backwards and how come the stars and stuff are over here. The reason for that is because you always carry the flag in the battle, which is pretty cool. So I love how they did that detail. But the most, like the thing I really love about this truck is the rims. So the reason why I like the rims so much is we finally now can see that Spin Master will go in and paint that center cap in there i forget what it's called but the parts that's blue in the rims that is huge detailing now i don't know if we're going to see trucks in the future with that however it is pretty cool to see that um there is a what's his name monster jam monster truck attitude on youtube who makes customs and everything and he did that with trucks too so that's really cool that spin master did that that's a nice added detail i really love that the only thing i have to complain about this truck maybe is the fact that it doesn't have the BKT lettering in white on it, but that's very, very, very minor. I love the detailing on the eye, the beak, and this truck also does have a black roll cage, chrome chassis, and then, you know, the red bead lock. Um, I forget what the blue part is called, and then obviously a white rim, but this thing is really cool. I really like this. Also, we got the movable wings, which is cool and another thing that I pointed out too in Monster Jam of these videos is they painted the wings and they usually don't I guess they couldn't paint on the plastic parts of trucks but I'm glad to see they did it I don't know if we're going to see that more in the future however this is an exclusive truck so more time and effort probably went into this one but I gotta say this thing looks really really cool really really mean the detailing on the beak even the birds claws or talons it just looks awesome this is a really cool piece really cool looking truck and you know it's the same exact casting as wildfire and freebird which i believe is mix 12 of this year but it's pretty cool how like a small paint job or a small detail can really change the way a truck looks you know and then also here is your little i guess ramp and just like all the other exclusives this one is a matted black with nothing in it and that's okay but yeah this thing is really really nice really really cool looking definitely worth the money um even if you got just one of these for 15 bucks i believe it is it's not bad it's an exclusive truck it celebrates you know united states i know a lot of people do collect these overseas and everything but 
it is cool to have a truck celebrating America, I guess. <laughs> um, definitely, like I said before, I did not think we were going to have a, an exclusive truck for the 4th of July. Um, so, this thing coming out of left field, pretty cool, I must admit. And I'm actually really happy with it. Spinmaster did an amazing job with it. You know, they are just getting better and better and better. And the fact that now they're going to start, you know, painting inside the rims, you know, that's pretty cool. That is really cool. Dedication, more details. It just goes to show that Spinmaster, you know, I hate to say Hot Wheels is lazy and I hate to say Hot Wheels doesn't put a lot of effort into their designs and trucks because they do. And a lot of trucks do look really good. But the fact that Spinmaster really pays attention to details like this and you know, imagine if these rims were just all white, you know, it would take away from the look of the truck. That little blue speck on the middle of the rim really pulls the whole truck together. It makes the blue pop with the stars. It just, it really does a lot for it. And that's something that's not hard to do. Something that, you know, maybe people who customize trucks would, would do it, you know, but seeing the company do it and then release it as a finished product, that's a totally different thing. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I really like this truck. I don't think it's gonna be one of my favorites for the 2020 Spin Master line, but the fact that this thing came out, the detailing on it is great. And also, one cool thing with this truck is they did take advantage of the casting. So there's only so many things you can do with this truck, with the casting type. I was thinking maybe this thing would be in like zombies and hunters, maybe like a hunter bird or like a zombie bird or something like that. And we did see the truck now in three different stages where it was a fire truck, which looked pretty cool. And then we did see it again for Mix 12, which is basically an Eagle paint scheme. And now we see it as an exclusive truck that's painted like the American flag. So I don't really know if they can do much more with Freebird, but this is really cool. They did an amazing job with this. And I'm really, really, really happy I was able to get this you know the whole thing that's going on with the country and everything knowing that they released this and we got it pretty fast we got it within six days just about so that's pretty cool as well and the packaging's getting better detailing's getting better i mean honestly this time next year who knows what i'll be saying about spin master but it's only going to be good things the only thing i have to argue with spin master is i wish they would you know send the stores around the same time they send it to everybody but i guess that can't be a thing but that's all right that's minor but yeah anyway guys let me know in the comments if you're getting this truck if you got this truck if you got 20 of them and you plan on selling them to other collectors and all that um i do have i think one or two extra ones i'm gonna have so if when you guys do need it you know don't be scared to reach out i'm always looking to help you guys out help out the subscribers help out all you guys but yeah, really cool truck, definitely worth the money. And like I said, very refreshing to finally see a new truck out of the Spin Master since it's been about two months <laughs> now. So, but yeah, really cool to see a new truck. And yeah, with that being said, guys, let me know in the comments, drop a like, subscribe. We got a ton of videos coming out this week. I know last week was pretty hectic with everything going on with New Jersey reopening and all this other stuff going on, but yeah, I'm going to keep pumping up the videos, and I hope you guys subscribe, and we're going to have a racing league very shortly here. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys very shortly in the next video.